हेलो गाइस दिस इज साहिब फ्रॉम टेक इफिक्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल एंड दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट स्मार्टफोन हीटिंग सो स्मार्टफोन हीटिंग इज अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज आस्क टू मी लॉट ऑफ टाइम बाय यू गाइस एंड यू गाइस ऑलवेज सी व्हाट इज स्मार्टफोन हीटिंग्स व्हाट व्हाई स्मार्टफोन ओवरहीट्स व्हाट आर द फैक्ट व्हाट आर द कॉजेस सो बिफोर अपलोडिंग दिस वीडियो आई वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ अपलोडिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ वीडियो बिकॉज आई हैव एवेंचुअली सोल्ड ऑफ माय वन प्लस थ्री आफ्टर रिव्यूइंग इट so as i have promised you guys that i will put some informative informative videos now so guys this is the video so before uploading i was thinking that i'll put a separate video on causes effects and solutions of smartphone heating but uh, now i have decided to put a single video in which you can get to know a lot of things about this topic and if you will watch the video the till end you will get to know a lot of things about this topic so i repeat watch the video till end you will get to know a lot of things so guys the first cause of heating is actually processor the processor of modern smartphones are really really powerful it the processor is actually made up of semiconductor chip which has electrons inside it so when we give some task or we are doing something the electrons actually move and when we give some intensive task the electrons actually move really really fast so when they are moving really really fast they actually collide with each other and the, when they collide with the, each other it produces friction so when there is friction there is lot of heating so this is the first cause of heating so generally processor of modern days processor are built on 14 nanometer architecture which is really really small and uh, produces very less heat but there are certain uh, processor which actually produce lot of heat uh, like the example of snapdragon 615 so this topic we will discuss a bit later so guys the second question asked to me or the second factor of heating is actually fast charging so generally i have tested two smartphones on my youtube channel and that is moto g4 plus and one plus three moto g4 plus is a great great device and generally the question asked to me was why this smartphone heats up when uh, we do charging so these modern day smartphone have fast charging facility and when we charge this smartphone the, the flow of current is actually really fast so same thing again the when the flow of current is really fast the current is actually forced into your batteries so that means there are lot of electrons being moved and when there are lot of electrons being moved there is resistance which causes actually heat so i would say uh, heating in just fast charging is just normal just don't worry about it but yes the smartphone gets warm there so that second reason or the cause of smartphone heating is i know some people and my friends actually use their smartphone while they are charging or charging on plugs or charging from power banks what they do is do stuff on their smartphones play games while they are charging so uh, the smartphones are actually heating up when they are they are being charged also we are using them so this is another cause of charging it has lot of ill effects which we will discuss later the other thing we actually do is build quality so modern day smartphones are built out of metal or plastic or some other materials so if the smartphone is particularly made of aluminum or some other metal the as we know the metal is a good conductor of electricity so it generally dissipates the heat really really well so i am recording this by with the galaxy s second galaxy has six as a glass back and the uh, side chassis is actually metal so the back looks actually uh, okay but the side chassis uh, that is metal chassis feels a bit warm just because the metal dissipates the heat really quickly and that's why we feel the heat so uh, on 40 to 42 degree celsius i generally we have saw that metals used to exhibit a lot of heating but not heating but i would say they dissipate the heat much quicker than plastic so these are plastic phones uh, the heat dissipations by metal phones are really good the another thing is that modern day smartphones like the galaxy s6 or we can talk geony smartphones which are really really slim also the moto z series new series are really slim we are talking about 5 mm 5.5 mm 6 mm and this is the 7 mm smartphones so the processor is just beneath the back and there is very little room for heat dissipation look at the example guys this is desktop processor i know this is processor is used in computers but it is having heat pipes or fan included and this is the graphic card guys of pc so it is also having fan included and this is the 
कूलर मास्टर सप्लाई सो कंप्यूटर हैज लोड्स ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स टू डेसिपेट इट बट अवर स्मार्टफोन्स आर रियली स्लिम सो देर इज एक्चुअली लॉड ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इन डेसिपेटिंग द हीट सो दिस द स्लिमनेस ऑफ स्मार्टफोन इज अनदर रीजन सो गाइज another reason is overloading what we do with generally our smartphone is that we have lot of expectations from our smartphone so for example if you are spending rupees 10000 you want to play asphalt eight you want to do multiple multiple stuffs but we don't consider that when we do multiple stuffs like playing asphalt eight and u torrent is downloading movie in background so this puts a lot of pressure on processor which comes to in front of us in form of heating so guys the other reason is ambient temperature this is the biggest reason so guys when i am playing games in my room i generally switch off the ac just because of the fact that uh, what's the performance of smartphone in ambient temperature usually the ambient temperature in india or i may say punjab is really really high so it may go to 40 to 42 degrees celsius so generally what people do is they check the cpu temperature using the cpu z app also answer the poll here so they were always asking me sahib our uh, smartphone is going to 60 to 65 degrees celsius it is okay so i always say them always use the ambient temperature uh, the own surface temperature is what it matters i am not having a ir gun but uh, what it feels to hand is the actual temperature the processor uh, the temperature of processor all the internals will always be high don't look from cpu z app if you have the ir gun just use that thing so ambient like te- uh, temperature is the another factor which is the cause of smartphone heating also guys the another cause of the heating is that signals so generally the 3g or 4g signals in our india is not that uh, strong i would say and uh, when we are uh, using 3g is in extreme areas or uh, in areas where there is very less signal of uh, Uh, th- that 3G or 4G network, whatever smartphone do is our battery transfers lot of power from uh, power to this antennas and antennas use a lot of power and this also causes smartphone heating. That's why people call me when they are using 3G or 4G, their smartphones heat. So these were the some factors why smartphone overheat. So now I'll tell you the effects of smartphone overheating. So guys, the first effect is throttling. The word is actually bit tricky, but it is very simple. so there is a code or algorithm in our uh, mobiles kernel that when the smartphone of that uh, the when the temperature of the smartphone will rise to a certain level say 65 degree internal temperature i am talking about then the phone will actually slow down the process so like if you are playing games for over 20 minutes high end games the smartphone's speed which actually come down and it will not be same as the Uh, when you have started the game so throttling is one issue and the smartphone will skip some frames and there will be lot of stuttering as etc so second cause is battery draining so if your uh, smartphone is heating up a lot like you are keeping your smartphone uh, in night at 100% and when you are waking up and you are saying it has gone to 60% so this is the thing of smartphone heating and you have also heard about the news of me for is explosion and this is the uh, reason because the reason behind this is actually smartphone heating or we can say the processor used actually heats up a lot just because of the third reason that is we use our smartphones while charging i feel it is the most stupid thing we can do to our smartphones why to use our smartphones while they are charging i mean yes you can receive calls just unplug the charger and receive calls if they are urgent but don't play games or use whatsapp or social media while they are charging just leave them alone for the time being when they are not being charging so this was the third area don't use your smartphone while charging the fourth thing which can happen is one small functioning although the thing is really real but it can happen when your smartphone is overheating a lot some components like motherboard processor ram or uh, also explosion can happen so this is the other thing or the fact which can happen to your device biggest effect frustration I have used the Moto G4 Plus, and I always say that it was a great, 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 great device. How many times I have said yes, it's a very good device. But the only problem with that device was heating. Just because uh, uh, I was actually traveling with my friends, and the camera on G4 Plus was really good, and I clicked about 15 pictures and used the camera for almost about a minute. And after about a minute, we are were in hilly area. The camera was started to struggle up a bit. There was lagging as the frame rates were not smooth. 
there uh, the smartphone was actually hitting up upper load also while doing gaming the smartphone was having hitting so these are the things that i don't like and this is the state of frustration so this is another effect of smartphone hitting so i may tell you the solutions now so don't overload your smartphone so as i have already told like if you are playing games and downloading stuff in background don't use uh, yes you can use but if you are having a powerful device like oneplus 3 galaxy s7 lg g5 hdc 10 you can do that so you can certainly do that but don't overdo that it will eventually malfunction also don't use uh, the apps like which uh, uh, which says they will prevent the heating or they will increase the battery life I don't want to take the name of those apps, but they are shitty apps just believe in me and un uninstall those apps Micromax, I don't know why bundles the clean master No comments, but don't use that type of as The second solution is don't use your smartphone while they are charging as I have already told when they are charging There is no need to use your smartphones because uh, it will eventually put more pressure on the processor and uh, because it is accepting a lot of charge from your fast charger or the normal charger and you are using it constantly which will eventually uh, affect its internal parts so the why is the third solution to this problem is actually using good quality cases so generally most of us uh, use that 100 or 200 rupees cheap cases for our from the retail stores what we get so guys uh, these are the cases for my galaxy s6 i am having this is for galaxy oh sorry xperia my so lots of cases i have for my smartphones and for galaxy s6 alone i am having seven cases so the point is to use good quality cases because uh, some days back my, one of my friend came to me and they were saying sahib uh, my smartphone is actually hitting up a lot so i i actually suggested him to use the smartphone without the case and in three four days he said that there is lot of effect of so using the smartphone without case and then we bought the good quality case for his smartphone and this is the MTT case which I am actually using with my Galaxy S6 and this does make a difference it looks good the color has not faded that's a different topic but the heat dissipation through these cases is very good because the material used is actually of good quality and it will cost you 600 or 700 rupees so I'll suggest you to go with good quality cases also that uh, another solution to this problem is check your software updates regularly uh, moto g4 plus was a great device but uh, i think till now it has haven't got a software update for fixing the issues of heating so i will say uh, like the what happened with me me for me for i was heating a lot and when it got a software update the heating eventually came down but the performance also came down so this thing actually happens so i would say performance and heating are inversely proportional to each other so if there will be more performance the heating will be more if there, there is less uh, what you say performance actually heating will be less too so this is the relation between two and also the another solution to this problem is actually liquid cooling yes it is used in galaxy s7 i think so there is lot of effect of using liquid techniques like this yes i know that it's really expensive technique but in future if it, it is implemented it is a very good technique so also i would say so oh, the question arises now is what is the temperature ideal temperature in which we can say this smartphone is functioning normal or it is not heating i would say 42 degree to 44 degree celsius is just normal because our smartphones are no so thin that they can't dissipate heat that much and they also have no fans so now let's talk about some things like uh, optimization is the other solution to this problem we know that snapdragon 615 was a chipset that was uh, heating up a lot and it was used in eureka me 4i and these smartphones were actually crappiest smartphone of 2015 and Qualcomm was under the hammer there but everyone noticed that Snapdragon 615 actually hits up a lot but no one actually noticed that their chipset was also used in Galaxy A7 and that device never hit it because the optimizations done by Samsung were so good that the smartphone was actually not hitting so this is a not sponsored video by Samsung by any means guys 
just and I am also not a semi boy I just want to let you know that what uh, optimization can do to your smartphone my friend actually uses a desire 8 to 5 from HTC that also has a Snapdragon 615 chipset and uh, what happened after playing Pokemon Go for 4 minutes, the smartphone eventually shut off. The temperature was so so high that I could not register the temperature but it was burning like hell. So optimization is the other solution and I know that optimizations cannot be done by you. They had to be done by the company's manufacturers but it is the another solution to this problem. So guys this was pretty much it from the video. Causes, effect. Solutions. I hope you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, please do give this video a huge thumbs up. There is a small one. Give you a huge thumbs up. And if you have any sort of feedback for me, comment in comment section. If you have any video request, comment section. Want to support Tech it Weeks? Use the affiliate link which are in description box down below. Whenever you will purchase from those links, our channel will get something out of it. Want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc.? description box so this is sahi from tacky twig signing off thank you guys for watching